up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2015 Cadillac Escalade short wheelbase premium four-wheel drive short wheelbase just means that it's not the ESV it's not the long one diamond tricoat on the outside which is a pearl white with a light beige leather interior completely loaded up with factory navigation color backup camera factory power moonroof factory DVD player power tailgate power running boards 22 inch wheels front and rear parking sensors lane departure warning um, Bluetooth uh, what else uh, Act adaptive cruise control which brakes for you uh, and a bunch of other stuff that I'll get into in just a minute and it's a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for any extended warranty as only 9,000 uh, I think 9,300 miles we'll check that in just a minute still under the balance of a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty which is followed by a five-year 100,000 mile uh, powertrain warranty uh, it has one of these intelligent type keys here the type of keys that you just put in your pocket and you never really have to take it out I'll show you how that works in just a second let me just um I don't know if I give you your address if I'm repeating myself I apologize we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street Miami Florida 33142 is a zip code Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always closed on Sundays. We have been the car business since 1992 and sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right, you got matching Bridgestone Dwell attires. 285, 45, 22. They're the original tires, but they're still in great shape. They definitely don't need to be replaced. Power running boards. Uh, okay, by the way, so you get the intelligent key in your pocket. When you approach the vehicle, all four doors have this little rectangular switch here. You press it once for that door and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. So if I want to open it up now, one, two, and now all four doors are open. When you open the door, the power running boards comes out. All right. And you do have... Um, let me show you how they retract. And you do have also eliminated um, handles here. It's hard to see during the day here, but this lights up in here. All right, the door panels are two-tone, uh, beige in the bottom with brownstone on the top, leather and suede with the wood trimming. Memory seats for up to three drivers. Drivers got storage pocket here and here, and bottle holders here and here. Got the Bose stereo sound system. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, shoes control, tilt wheel, tilt wheel, power folding mirrors. Your tilt wheel is a um, it trims down or up, and it's also telescopic, meaning you can make it go away from you or towards you. Automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come up for sunrise. Select four wheel drive. Get also these husky um, um, heavy duty uh, uh, floor mats. Dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. You got uh, curtain side airbags as well as seat side airbags. Okay. Um, before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been an ounce smoker. All right, so now let's go ahead and get inside. Let me get inside here and uh, let me get the vehicle started. Slide the seat back just a little bit and let's close the door. Okay, so once you get inside the vehicle, the vehicle is going to detect that the key is nearby, and all you got to do is step on the brake and hit the push button start. All right, and that turns on your vehicle right there. All right, it's got 9,326 miles, 9,326. Tell you what, it's crazy hot outside. Let's turn on the air conditioning and let's put the fan not so high so you can hear me talk. Put a maximum low here because it is very, very hot outside. It's 98 degrees right now. Okay. All right, uh, and let's start off with the. Um, uh, let's start off with the uh, moon roof here, uh, so we can get a little bit of lighting in here. All right. It is a glass moon roof. It is tinted, but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. And it's um, one touch, you don't have to hold the uh, 
switch for the moonroof to open. All right, and we're gonna leave it open for the duration of the video for better lighting. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's put on our navigation screen here. This car has so many options. Um, I hope I don't miss anything during the video. I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can. It is a touch screen, as you can see. Let me get a better grip on my phone here. All right, and if you put the vehicle, there's your, um, there's your navigation, and you also have your stereo uh, preset stations down here. If you put the vehicle in reverse, you get your color backup camera, and that, along with the parking sensor, should help you avoid any accidents when backing up. When you turn the steering wheel, it turns with you. The noise you're hearing is the, the tires of the vehicle rubbing against our epoxy flooring, but I just want to show you how, tell, how you can see where your vehicle is going, okay? All right, uh, let's see here, what else? Um, let's put it back in park. All right, we got, let's start off with the upper right hand corner here. To open up the glove box, you press here. And in there, it's the, uh, the owner's manual with its casing and also with the booklets that you need, excuse me, for the vehicle's operation. Original window sticker, 86,670. And only about nine months worth of use. Okay. All right, uh, over here, this one here is to disable or enable your parking sensors. This is your lane departure warning. This is a really cool option. Once you get going, I think it's past like 30, 40 miles an hour. When you are driving in a in lane, um, when you're when you're drifting away from the lane, it's going to give you a little warning sound, and it's also going to put um, these seats have like vibrating. Um, they're like vibrating seats, so it'll it'll go like goon, 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 goon. It's kind of kind of. I know it sounds silly, but it'll vibrate on the seat, and it also makes a sound uh, when you're about to uh, depart the lane. So let you know in case you you're dozing away or you took your eyes away from your um, from this to look at your phone or something. This one here is to the same. Sorry, 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 sorry. I accidentally hit the volume uh, with my thumb. Okay, this one here is for your traction control. Uh, over here, this is to, to for your suspension uh, to, uh, to change the height. Um, this one here is for your power pedals to make them go away from you or towards you. And that feature comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. This one here is to disable your uh, power running boards. So if you disable them right now with the doors closed, they'll stay in and they won't open up. If you disable them, with the um, with the door open, it'll uh, it'll stay exactly the same way uh, it was as when you disabled them. You have also a heads up display, and I think that's going to be impossible for me to show you in the video. Through this opening here, it displays there your speed or whatever it is you choose. You can choose what you display, and that's what this button here is for. That's your heads up display. That's what HUD stands for. And uh, you can I can see it perfectly now, but in the video you're not going to be able to see it. Right now it shows me the RPM and the miles per hour. Uh, it also, um, when you get out in the street, it'll also tell you if, if it listed, it'll tell you what the speed limit is on that particular um, road you're driving. So it's pretty cool to show you, for example, you're going 55 and the speed limit is 60 or whatever, or 45. So you can pay attention and keep an eye on it um, so you don't get a speeding ticket. All right, um, all the windows are one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go up or down. Um, you also have your blind zone spot alert. If you can see that little car with a star there. Okay, that lights up in yellow when there's a vehicle on your blind spot. That way you know the lane is not available for you to change. Turn signals in the mirrors. And they are power folding. All right. Uh, there's a ton of, uh, of options. You got an electronic parking brake down here. You pull it to engage to disengage. You step on the brake and you push it in. All right. Um, all digital display. A beautiful light. It just looks really, really sharp. Um, you got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has the sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. This vehicle is equipped with the OnStar system. If you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90-day free trial with a monster at no cost to you. And let me tell you what monster does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including this side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, which in this vehicle is nearly impossible, 
because of the intelligent key. You call a number they provide you, uh, they'll ask you a few questions to identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. If you have any kind of emergency, press the red button. You also have a center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you're lost and need directions, press the blue button. You also have a center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If you're checking your light comes on, press the blue button. You also have a center will come on and diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you how to proceed to take care of it, and um, uh, tell you how to proceed to take care of it. Uh, also, um, uh, they have uh, roadside assistance and concierge, concierge service. For more details, visit OnStar.com and don't forget to ask for your 90 day free trial by mentioning our dealer. Up in the top here, you got map lights, your power tailgate switch, which is right there. You can open all the way or three quarters of the way. Um, these are your sunroof switches to slide or to vent. Um, let's see here what else. It's panel with a dashboard now, so you can see it's in perfect shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes. It's really, really sharp. But again, it's a 2015 model car. Open the center here. You got uh, two USB ports and a uh, cigarette lighter adapter. Cup holders here in the center. And here where you rest your elbow, you got a little plate here for like your phone. That's what I usually do with my phone. Or you can use it for a coin tray or whatever. Clearly, if you're going to open it here, you need to remove whatever's under because it's going to fall back. And there you got a nice big deep storage um, uh, center console that has the headphones for the DVDs, your uh, original nuts for the wheel locks, another cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers, and two more USBs and a hard disk drive over here and an auxiliary port. All right. Okay, what else here? Um, I think we pretty much covered everything there is to cover here. Let me pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see it's in spotless shape. This section here where that emblem is at, that's also suede. This is leather here and that's suede over there. Alright, um, you got also um, a uh, towing haul mode. So if you're going to tow a boat or a trailer, you want to press that. When you press it, that's going to display a little yellow wagon on the corner here, which is going to disable the overdrive and uh, make the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. When you're done towing, press it, the yellow wagon goes away. There's also manual shifting mode. Alright, and I'll uh, show you how that goes. We're in park, reverse, neutral, drive. And that's how you're gonna drive it 99% of the time. If you wanna make it shift manually, go down to the M, and now you see it says M1. So if you tap on the plus, it's gonna shift up. If you tap on the minus, it's gonna shift down. If that doesn't interest you, leave it on the D, and the uh, tra automatic transmission will do all the shifting for you. All right, um, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, by the way, you also got the heating and cool seat option. Press it once here. And you should you see it's this lights up in blue to let you know it's cold and that's high. Press it again, medium, one more time, low, one more time off. And the same thing for the heating. This one's to heat the backrest, this one's to heat the uh, the entire seat. Uh, let's go ahead and put a little music here. Raise the volume here. Lower it over here. Alright, this one here is for your preset stations. Uh, your cruise control is on the left hand side. Well, I'm sorry, your cruise control is over here. No, cruise control is uh, the bottom. Let's see here. That's my place. Uh, the cruise control is right in here. And then you got voice commands and your collision alert uh, option here, okay? Which right there, it tells you the gap adjust you want to set. How close, right there, is far, medium, or near, okay? So you can set your, you put your setting however you want. Clearly, uh, you would use probably near when you're in the city and far when you're in the highway. Uh, let's see here what else. Okay, so now you're ready to leave the vehicle. To turn off the vehicle, you simply just press here and the car turns off. Remember, the keys in my pocket has never left my pocket. All right, so let's access the uh, middle row and third row seating sections of this vehicle here. This vehicle, I mean, this, um, this video is kind of running long, so I'm going to speed it up just a hair. All right, left rear door panel. The door panels are all the same, beige with a, with a brown up in the top and the um, suede up in here. You got a, like a coffee holder here, coins or a phone. That's a good spot for your phone. And you can put a bottle in here as well. You got storage here and in here. So plenty of storage down there. All right, this is a, a seven passenger vehicle, two in the front plus two in the center with a quad seating and a full bench in the rear for a total of seven. You got a factory DVD player there with a remote right up there and you got several ports in for inputs. 
in the back of the center console, the rear row passengers can control the AC and the rear AC and also the stereo. Uh, you got storage pocket here and you got a video input. So if you could power it uh, through a cigarette lighter adapter or one of these, um, like the ones, I think this 110 or 120, like, like you have at home, you can actually, um, you can actually watch it on your um, roof mounted unit. Your DVD roof mount the unit and you can have a video input USB and a hard disk drive so plenty of options there for you all right uh, to gain access to the rear the little ones usually just walk in between but we do have power folding uh, middle row bucket seats all right and that's the gain to gain access to the third row and as you see we have this uh, husky weather beater all around the vehicle in the front in the middle and all the way up to the back right there okay now to push this back down you push it i mean to close it you push it back down and lift up manually okay and you're back into passenger mode you do have anchors here for your baby car seat that's what these buttons indicate for you that you have these anchors right there so you can put your baby car seat on either one of these middle row buckets like i said before get curtain side airbags and uh well, you get curtain side airbags on the whole entire side, not just here. These are the but these are the buttons that I was, I was able to locate. But yes, you have curtain side airbags on the entire side. All right, uh, I think we're ready to move on to the back. I'm trying to cover as much as I can uh, and get it within a certain amount of time so the video doesn't run on too long. Uh, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed anyway. They're nice and clear. These are the parking sensors I was telling you about. There are two on each side of the bumper. And you have also uh, four more up in the front bumper. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Again, this is a premium package four wheel drive. Behind this beauty cover, which is easily removable, is your class three heavy duty towing package with the electric connection. They're ready to go for all your towing needs. All the chrome trimming and all the emblems are in great shape. They have plenty of color and they're not damaged or scuffed in any way. To open up the tailgate, you can do it from the remote control by simply squeezing the tailgate or pressing the switch on the overhead console. You got a power folding third row seat. It's a 60-40 seat, 60% on this side, 40% on that side. To fold it down, you simply just come over here. All right, I'm just gonna do one side and it lays down pretty much completely flat. Let's bring it back up here. And because they're independent from each other, you can do one side and not the other. You have another cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers. To close the tailgate, you simply come over here and press the button, or you can do it from the remote control or the switch on the inside of the vehicle. All right, um, right rear door panel, same way, just like on the driver's side, same color combination, great shape, no burn holes, no cuts, no tears. Interior is just in really nice shape. All right, give you a look at the headliner now. You got rear AC, two vents back there for the rear row and map lights, and another set of AC vents here and here for the um, middle row passengers and integrated map lights onto the DVD for the middle row passengers. All right, let's come around here to the passenger front and after that we'll conclude the video. Right front door panel, perfect shape. Like I said before, you got power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support, not only on the driver's side, but also on the passenger side. All right, uh, before we conclude the video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credits. If you live a long distance away, you're concerned about the financing, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right at the top of the page, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.